Some thoughts came to my mind today. Some thoughts about 2006, about how a person treated me back then. And we have to understand that demons can place thoughts into our mind. So those thoughts were making me or were trying to make me bitter, were trying to make me angry, were trying to make me down, pretty much trying to make me depressed. And soon after, I believe, some more thoughts came to my mind, pretty much containing, Kevin, those bad things happened to you because you were reaping what you have sown. So you were reaping what you have sown. So when you do bad things, more bad things are going to happen to you. So if you choose to curse people, <laughs> more curses are coming your way. So whatever you do, whatever you think, the way that you act, more of that is coming back your way. So you can't get away with anything. So that came to my mind. Listen, what demons want to do, they want to make you the victim. Not really showing you the bad things that you have done that resulted with how people are treating you now. Listen, for everything you do, there is going to be a reward or punishment. But what demons want to make you believe that you are a victim, that bad things are happening to you, not due to your actions or how you are. No, it is happening to you because everyone is mean. Please listen. They are rarely going to show you that, hey, these bad things are happening to you because of the way that you are. Please listen. Demons do me the same way as well. Point out so many bad things that people have done to me, but not really showing me the evil I done in the past. Kevin, that person was so mean to you. They were treating you in this bad way. You should be mad and bitter and hate that person. Why? Because I was doing bad things too. I was evil toward people as well. Why not remind me of that? They want you to be the victim. You are not the victim. And you may say, well, Kevin, when I was a child, bad things happened to me as well. Are you saying that those bad things were due to what I said, done, and thought back when I was a child? No. No. Sometimes bad things happen to us when we are a child due to generational curses, due to our parents, grandparents, so on and so on. But when you begin to understand the word of God, when you begin to understand what is right and what is wrong, you are held accountable. So you have no excuse for being the way that you are if you are doing wrong. Please listen. So you are not the victim. No matter what happened to you, that is no excuse to do wrong.
Because if you do wrong, more wrong, more bad things are going to happen to you. I don't care if a person did so many bad things to you. Why go to hell over something petty? Forgive. Move on. You are not the victim. We have to forgive. Now, it would be one thing if you have done everything right in life. Now, if you were to do everything right in life without making no mistakes, then perhaps you can complain. But if you have made mistakes, you don't have the right to say anything. Forgive. Move on. Because if you have done a person wrong, for whatever the reason, how can you point out the bad things people have done to you when you have done bad things to people? Listen, that would be hypocritical. Yes, I have done evil to people, but hey, that doesn't matter. What matters is the bad things those people are doing to me. How crazy is that? Stop that. Silly.